വൈപ്പിൻ ഇസ് എൻ ഐലൻഡ് റീജിയൻ ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ എറണാകുളം ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് അന്ന ബെൻ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് അവാർഡ് വിന്നർ ഫോർ ബെസ്റ്റ് ആക്ട്രസ് ആൻഡ് എ നേറ്റീവ് ഓഫ് വൈപ്പിൻ ഹാസ് റിട്ടൺ ആൻ ഓപ്പൺ ലെറ്റർ ടു ബ്രിങ് ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ഫേസ്ഡ് ബൈ വൈപ്പിൻ കര ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് റെസിഡൻസ് ടു ദ സി എംസ് അറ്റൻഷൻ ഫോർ അബൌട്ട് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് വൈപ്പിൻ റെസിഡൻസ് ആർ ഫേസിംഗ് ചലഞ്ചസ് ആസ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ബസ്സസ് ആർ നോട്ട് അലൌഡ് ടു എൻഡർ ദ സിറ്റി ഏരിയ അന്ന ഹാസ് ബ്രോട്ട് ടു ദ അറ്റൻഷൻ ദ പ്ലൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് വൈപ്പിൻ ബസ്സസ് ഹാവിംഗ് to return to the intersections even after 18 years anna recalls that she experienced this difficulty throughout her time as a student at st teresa's even though buses from all parts of the district came to the city wipin buses were not allowed to enter city till time the letter also reminds that the additional cost of this is unaffordable for thousands of ordinary women from wipin who work in textile shops and other businesses in the city Residents of Waipin are constantly fighting for the entry of buses into the city. The letter concludes by saying that it is hoped that CM who has the ability to take firm decisions can easily overcome the threats of law raised by vested interests and some officials over this issue. Anna's letter originally in Malayalam reads to the honorable Chief Minister of Kerala. A bridge connecting Waipin Kara with the mainland was not even a dream of our previous generations. It was that great man Sahodara Nayappan who sowed the seed of a dream in the mind of us. It has been 18 years since Goshri Bridge which was the eternal dream of Waipin Kara residents became a reality. It was hoped that once the bridge came we would be freed from the perilous journey through the estuary and would be able to reach various places in Kochi city directly by bus. effortlessly the bridge came and so did the buses but waipin kara transport buses are still kept at the gates of the city we had to get off the bus at high court intersection walk to the next bus stop and board another bus to go to different places in the city i experienced this difficulty throughout my time as a student at st teresa's natpac has conducted a study and submitted a report on whether waipin buses should be allowed to enter the city It is learned that the report is in favor of urbanization. Moreover, the report says that if Waipin buses enter the city, the number of cars and two-wheelers coming from Waipin to the city on a daily basis will decrease significantly, thereby decongesting the city. Neglect of Waipin Kara becomes a continuing story. We are waiting for the dream to come true with regards Anna Ben. Soon after this actress herself shared a screenshot captioning an open letter to CM Pinarayi Vijayan it has garnered views and comments and Waipin residents hope a speedy solution as the actress has involved directly over this issue news desk kaumudi global